Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of GTA 4. Let's see what we get up to this time. Okay, well it's perfect timing because it just turned 6 a.m. So here we are with three leaf clover. There he is, Nico Bellic. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry, Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you, and Brett Halfwit? <clears throat> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family. Or I will fuck with yours. I will kill you one day. Just figured I'd mention it. All right, we're heading to the southern Algonquin branch of Baker Liberty. Um. Designated driver. And I have to get a four-door car again. Let's steal the neighbor's car. Oh man, they don't have one. Oh, they had some forge. Oh, it's right there. Hurry up, Nico. Let's do this. Do not make me get out of this car. In 20 yards. Turn left. Officer proceeding on foot. Subject class name. Move, move, move. Cop car, boys, watch it. Turn right, then immediately right. In 200 yards, turn right. Perfect. All right, here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians. Well, Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I ain't never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, well, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them Shut notes. Up. First, you're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's PE4. Not C4. Whatever. At least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. Oh, Jesus, these fucking roads! Hail Mary! Go, come on! In 200 
bunch of blankets. Clean boys. No civilian casualties. Are we putting on masks? No. Yeah. Maybe. None of you fucking fucks move. Get on the oh, floor. None of you is gonna get a medal for playing hero. All you's gonna get is a bullet to the heart. Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe. Open the door. Open the door! Open the door! Open the fucking door! Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it! Get on the floor! Now! But, sir... You too! Okay, okay. Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? What's your name, son? Luis. But this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Somebody's gonna die. Come on. The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people. We're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's going to make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you said bloody Ireland. That's going to narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you. Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Oh. Motherfucker! Oh. Fuck! Oh. We told you not to fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! Shit, fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother will watch the kids! Well, and that's why you don't bring family issues to a job, eh? Numpties. Everyone! Keep your heads down! Numpties. Oh, Michael St. Michael. Poor Michael St. Michael. His poor parents. I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys. Okay, we don't have time to go in. I don't know how we're gonna get out of here. That's that's a big police presence there. Um, I really thought they were gonna hit go, that cop. Go, go, go. And they're SWAT. Move in, move in. Oh, this is gonna be that one episode, isn't it? Why are the doors open? That's not very smart. Uh, excuse me. Oh, move it. I'm not gonna survive this. Uh, like, this is really quite bad, actually.
And we just get in the car. Uh. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I was so low on health. I'm not... How? How? How are you supposed to do this? They should at least give you some fucking armor or some shit. No, I don't want to do this mission again. Fuck, I hate these missions. They're so stupid. Got a bunch of NPCs that aren't moving shit all. all right. We're heading to the the easiest thing to fucking do is grab a cop car and run off. We all know that the cops are fucking dumpties anyway. about the way things is going down, boys. Me and Michael are on the civilians. Derek and Nico are on employees. Derek, did you sort out the charge for the vault door? What's that mean? Of course I sorted out the charge. What do you think I've been doing all day? I don't know. Nodding off with a needle sticking out of your arm? Patrick, you were such a sweet little boy when I left this city. You was gone a long time, Derek. From what I remember, you've changed too. This is an emotional moment. I can feel the brotherly love in the air. Maybe we should just talk about the job, though? Sure. So, Derek, you got the charge rigged up to your phone. Had a bit of trouble with that. Couldn't find a pager to rig the blasting cap to. Had to put the thing on a timer. All right, all right. We can roll with the timer. That's cool. Nico, when the door blows, I want you and Michael to go down into the vault to get the cash. Grab as much as you can carry. Okay. Don't need to tell me twice, Packy. I'm ready to go. Pumped is what I am. Thanks, Michael. Knew I could count on the dumbest member of the group to throw himself into proceedings the most willingly. I was just saying how I do what you said, Packy. No need to get abusive. There was no need for a brother and sister to get married, but your parents did that, and now you're here. I can think of one reason they needed to get married. They were so ugly that no one else would have them. <laughs> Nothing like a sibling's love, eh, Derek? Nothing like it. Nothing could make me love Francis, though. Fucking Frankie. He'd be pissed if he could see us now. Clean, boys. No civilian casualties.
Well, I'm already dead. I'm gonna die. I don't know how you expect me to do this, man. I can't heal off here. This is ridiculous. I fucking hate this mission with a fiery passion of a thousand suns. I, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this. I'm just I can't I I, I refuse Fuck this shit Hey man, did you just call me? No, man must have been someone else. Yeah, yeah, must have been I was in the shower and I heard the phone ringing so I thought you might have called or something. My bad. Later. Okay, well, considering we kindly fucked off from that other mission that I hate the fucking guts of, sorry for my expl expletives, but I, I want you guys to know how much I hate that mission. Um, I'm gonna do the next Ray mission instead. I just don't want to lose all my money failing that mission over and over again, and then having to drive halfway across the city oh, every David single Blunt. time. We got a beautiful <sighs> Bacala saddle. I'm here for, for someone. I'm here for Ray. Oh, Ray, why did you say so? Ray's a beautiful man, you know what I mean? Uh, he's in the back. Thanks. No, I don't know what you mean. Hey, Nikki! Ha <laughs> ha! How you doing, kid? Fine. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> that Mick bastard friend of yours says you're okay. Good. That you're reliable. Yep. But can I trust you? Hmm? Why go through all this? Why stick your neck out? Why do all this work? Because I need the money. And because I can't do anything else. And because I'm good at it. Sure. And because I'm trying to find someone. Okay, maybe we can help. Let's see how we do. So anyways, I got this friend. Only the friend ain't my friend no more because he ain't getting me the vigios. Okay. Seems this guy does not respect the waste management business. Lives over in a project on Galveston near you. Name is Teddy Benavidez. Do what you gotta do. Somebody gets burnt, so be it. Fine. And you'll pay. Hey, you kidding? I'll pay double. Good. But you mess up. Bad things are gonna happen. No. I'm always down for a little homicide. Nikki, this might be of use. Look out for this guy, Alonso. He's one of Benavides' goons. He'll tell you what you need to know if you're persuasive. Ciao. Wearing a 782. Uh, generic sports jersey kind of thing. Okay. Thank you everybody so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next episode, bye bye.